Listen to what Jesus said. How long had this child been tormented to the father? How long since he'd been a child? Since he'd been a child. Now, there's a lot of you going through with all kinds of problems in your home, in your marriage, on your job. But think about, let me back you up some. The years when you was going through, come on, come on. and you had nobody depending on but the Lord. And you came to church and you got on this altar and you prayed. You cried out before the Lord. And when the pastor came on the platform, everybody was subject. Everybody was ready to do whatever the man of God said. What happened to the peoples in the church? I tell you what happened. They got off their prayer bone. The thing that had brought you where you are today is praying and fasting. You can say what you want, but you ain't going to have no power over the devil until you make up in your mind and sell it down in your soul. I am ready to go back to the altar because my flesh got to die. Yeah. Lift them hands and say, go. Oh. If you look at it, your outer flesh is ruling your inner, your inner spirit. Your outer flesh is ruling your inner spirit. When the pastor began to bring a message of correction or a message of rebuke, you get mad, you get quiet, you get up, you walk out. Come on, talk Oh, to I me. know you don't like. But I'm trying to get you to see the only way you're going to get delivered is that you tell God, Lord, everything that's inside of me, I want you to get it out. I'm mean. I'm nasty. I'm hungry. I'm selfish. And you up and got a nerve to tell me about love. No, you learn to love first. But when Jesus said in this 27 verse, Jesus looked up on them and said, with man, it is impossible. You got an anointed preacher here. If he get up in the poor pick every Sunday and just run, He didn't preach. But now God is taking him 
in another channel. Teach my people that I want them to come back to the altar. The altar is where your delivering is. Look at somebody and say, I'm going back to the altar. Let me tell you something. When you go back to the altar and begin to pour your heart out, I don't care how much the devil is raising saying in your home. I don't care how much the devil is cutting up in your marriage. When you are faithful and honest and loyalty to leadership, God will give you victory in your home. What happened to the morning mothers in Zion? What happened to the preachers? All they want to do now is to be recognized. I'm elder so-and-so. Shut up and sit down. If you have not learned how to be obedient as an elder or as an evangelist, oh, help me this morning. If you have not learned how to follow leadership, you don't have a ministry yet. God points you as a usher or as a deacon. Be faithful in your office. I thought you were going to preach about unbelief. That's what I am doing. Because in your unbelief, you're saying within yourself, it don't take all that, but it's going to take more than that. Yes, right. Did you not know how this church got here? It got here through your obedience. It got here through you getting on the altar, praying and fasting. I tell you, look at a person that really been through hell and high water. And they can tell you real good they ain't got off their knees. And they'll tell you in a minute, your answer for deliverance is on the altar. The altar is your knee. But here come the preachers. And you know why I said the preachers? You know why I said evangelists? You know why I said those that's in office? Because you are the one that helped build the church. You the one that takes the load over the shepherd. All right. The mother in Zion, when they prayed and they fast, fire came down through the church. People got saved, people got healed, people got delivered. When the preacher began to tell the people to lift their hand, they lift their hand into the fire. But now you tell them, stand up and lift their hand. Pastor, they'll sit down like they're doing you a favor. All right. And what I'm trying to get you to see is God don't see you. But God looking at a person that's hungry. A person that's ready to follow leadership. 